Hey, all right, welcome. Welcome to take five. This is our first set of uh, experimental videos where we try to provide some meaningful information within five minutes. It's a challenge, but we're going to go try ahead and do it. Uh, our first topic today, we will talk about kind of the top three questions we get around IAM and uh, the admin console. And we have our uh, expert here, George Geronimo. How are you? Doing okay, Jonathan. All Thanks. Right. We got five minutes. Let's All go. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. So I think you're going to walk us through the console, kind of some things that you get commonly asked. I know for me, you know, quotas is number, you know, one of the big ones. Um, but yeah, let's go through the list. No, you, you hit on the top uh, most requested item for, for me as well. So, uh, and that's quotas, right? So how do you increase a quota? Um, many people will recognize uh, what I'm sharing here, right? It's just the dashboard. Um, so to find the quotas, it's actually really easy. You can do this a number of ways. You can uh, use the selector and go into IAM and admin, which is uh, identity access management and admin, and go to uh, quotas. Uh, or I'll, as an alternative, you can just type it in here, right? Quotas. And um, you have all the different compute engine and um, app engine and every other quota that you have under the sun, right? But uh, really for all quotas, you can just select the all quota there. And that gets you to the same endpoint, right? I am an admin quotas. So uh, the question that I commonly get asked is, hey, look, I need more uh, compute engine uh, resources, say networks. How do I uh, request more than the default five? So in this all quota page, uh, what you do is you find your, the quota that you're looking for or the service that you're looking for, check the box, and then you go to edit quotas. What you'll see is that on the right, then a um, little pop-up will show up, right? Or the window will slide open, enter in your phone number, right? 408-555-1212, and then, or your, your uh, number, right? So the request uh, requires approval, current limit five. I'm gonna ask for, you know, change it to 10. And the justification for that is uh, I need more power. <laughs> there you go. Right, and then it just says, hey, thanks. Um, we'll get back to you. It's that easy. And it looks like you can actually, what I've done is actually multiple, check multiple uh, services and then do mm -hmm. edit. So you can, it's kind of like a mass edit. But yep, that's great. That's number one. All right, what is number two? So the second thing that we, uh, at least my team gets asked about is how do I add someone right, from my team that wants access to my project? Um, and so unfortunately it's under the same, um, the same uh, categorization, right? So we go right into I am an admin, uh, I am identity and access management. And it's really easy to add someone, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a really nice button that's conveniently labeled add. Mm -hmm. um, and then to add, you know, either one person or a group of people, right? right? You can add their name or the name of that group here into the, uh, the members um, text box, right? There's a list of other, um, I guess I'd call them identifiers that you can add. Uh, and then you select a role. Uh, that you want to apply to that that person or group, and then you click add, and that's right. it. And I'm assuming that best practice would be to organize your team members into the specific groups. You know, this in this example would be like a G Suite group, a Google group, and after that, that way you can just add one alias into a specific role. You hit the nail on the head. That's going to save your admins a, a lot of heartache and hours. Perfect. All right. So number two is adding members. What's the third one? So the third one I would say is uh, around creating roles, right? So roles is something that we've just uh, recently rolled out. It's actually still in beta. Mm. Uh, and this relates to uh, I am, right? So, and it, it closely relates to groups. So the question is, how do I, for a group of people, uh, either either grant them a permission or um, disallow a permission, right? Uh, what is it? Re revoke a permission. The way to do that is to create a role. Right, so you create the role and you grant that, the role is kind of like a container and you grant that container certain permissions or don't grant it cer certain permissions uh, based upon how you want to custom tailor that. Uh, and then you add your groups that which we just talked about mm -hmm. into that role. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can uh, then administer uh, or delegate permissions across a wide number of people. Okay, so roles give you probably more granularity in terms of what that person can cannot access. Right, as well as the ability to uh, apply that granular uh, permission at, at, um, scalably, I guess I would say. Perfect. Well, George, thank you so much for your top three you know, IAM and admin uh, questions. No problem. Anything else you want to say? No, I think that's going to wrap it up for this afternoon. All right. Thanks for having me. Yes, I think that was under five minutes. Thank you.